South Oklahoma City ground shot, South 89th and I-35. Mike, there you can see it on the ground. That's Very dangerous exciting. situation. Our worst fears really are realized. Yes. A major tornado on the ground in a major metropolitan area. Dangerous situation. Not since June 13th you can hear that we it. see. You, you can, can hear, hear it often from here. South 89th Street. Uh, let's, be hear it. Well, let's be quiet for a second. We'll see if we can hear that shot. You can hear the roar. You can hear the tornado from 89th Street. You can hear the roar. Again, those listening on radio, you are going to be occasionally experiencing some uh, power outages because uh, these storms are moving into the metro area. We're going to have Let's occasionally that some shot. Look at the debris. Powers. Look at all the debris. Look at all the debris in the air. Folks, please, we plead with you. You absolutely have got to get down. Get, get to the lowest level you possibly can. We plead with you. Do not take the extra minute or two. We plead with you to get below ground. Get in the interior closet or bathroom. Get in the bathtub. We plead with you. There it is crossing Interstate 35. There is a tremendous I mean, amount of debris in the air. We pray and plead with you, please get down now. If you're I-35, get out of your car. If you're east of I-35 over to Taker Air Force Base, please, we plead with you, go to your safe spot now. Take your radio. Forget the live pictures. Go get safe. Oh, my gosh. 89, South 89. I, folks, we plead with you, just go, go to your safe spot if Mike, you possibly we, we can. That's, that, that's an F, look at the, look there, at the horizontal vortex. That is an F4 to an F5 tornado. That's Mike. winds of 250 miles. On May 3rd, 1999, one of the most powerful tornadoes ever recorded touched down on planet Earth. Its target was the city of Moore, Oklahoma. Earlier in the day, the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center located in Norman, Oklahoma, issued a slight risk for severe storms anywhere from Nebraska to Texas. However, the National Weather Service underestimated the volatility of the atmosphere, and with more and more data suggesting a possible severe weather outbreak, the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center issued a high risk for severe weather in Oklahoma and Kansas. Around 3 p.m., numerous storm cells would begin to pop up in Oklahoma. These cells would mature quickly, and realizing the deteriorating situation, the National Weather Service issued a tornado watch for much of western and central Oklahoma. One particular supercell was moving in the direction of Oklahoma City metropolitan area. This cell would produce hail the size of baseballs and multiple other tornadoes before dropping the monster tornado at approximately 6.23 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The tornado tracked northeast towards the community of Bridge Creek, where it rapidly intensified into a wedge tornado, attaining F5 status. Damage was extreme, as many homes were swept away completely, leaving only concrete slabs where the foundation once stood. Damage surveyors noted that the remaining structural debris from some of the homes in the area were finely granulated into small fragments, and that trees and shrubs were completely debarked. Extensive ground scouring also occurred, and vehicles were thrown hundreds of yards from where they originated, including a mangled pickup truck, which was found wrapped around a telephone pole. At this time, a mobile Doppler radar, positioned near the tornado, recorded the highest wind speed ever recorded on Earth. The winds were over 300 miles per hour, and realizing the severity of the situation, the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center issued the first ever tornado emergency for southern portions of Oklahoma City. The tornado continued to plow northeast into the city of Moore. The tornado destroyed and reduced most homes to rubble. Multiple vehicles were thrown significant distances away from where they originated, and many homes were reduced to a bare slab. Many trees were severely debarked and the ground badly scoured. The tornado continued into Dell City and then Midwest City before finally dissipating. The storm caused 36 deaths and injured over 500 people. The total monetary damages done totaled around $1 billion in 1999. This was one of the most violent tornadoes ever recorded and in 2013, another EF5 tornado tore through Moore, Oklahoma, following an eerily similar path of the 1999 tornado. Some say that Moore is the most tornado-prone city in the world since it sits right in the heart of Tornado Alley. We can only hope that no more tornadoes strike the Moore area anytime soon. Rest in peace to all those who lost their lives in this tragic tornado.